So you're looking at a painting and you notice that the artist has created some wonderful colors and you have no idea how to create those colors on your own paintings. Here is where color theory mixing chart comes in. Color theory mixing chart teaches you how to create certain colors and it's also a source of reference when you're working on your own paintings. A few things I want you to know about your color mi theory mixing chart is you have all the colors that you're using across the top and you also have your colors along the side, the same colors. You need to have a clean palette, clean water, clean brush, and some paper towels. First thing I did was to draw a very light line dividing diagonally the top right hand side of my mixing chart and the lower left hand side. The difference between the two sides is we'll have the same colors mixed, however on the top section I'll be using less water which will give us nice intense colors and on the bottom left hand side I'll have, be using more water which means I will have lighter values of those same colors. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do in order is I'm going to add using just a little water is I'm going to add those colors in these boxes. Remember you don't want to use a whole lot of water because you want these colors to be pretty intense. Not pasty, but intense. <clears throat> Make sure you <clears throat> clean your brush in between each of your colors. The next thing that you want to do is look at your intersecting colors. Actually what you next want to do is to take those same colors that you just used on the more intense side of your um, those squares and on the lower end you want to take those same colors and just using pure water you want to pull the pigment down to create lighter values of those same colors. You notice it's the same color in that box, it's just a lighter value. And you only need to pull but a small amount of that pigment down into that lower half of that box. So this is in essence the difference between the top portion and the lower portion of your color mixing chart. Okay. So <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do now is to take a look at where colors are intersecting each other. We have orange and we have red. So in this box, you're going to mix those two colors together in your palette. So I'm going to mix up just about equal parts of those colors, orange and red, and I'm going to place that color right up here. Okay. Once I have that color now, I'm going to add, dip my brush in the water. I'm going to add more water to the color that I mixed and in this lower section I'm going to look at where red and orange are together and I'm going to paint that in that section. So you should be looking at the same color except this should be a lighter more watered down version of this color. And again here we're going to mix, let's mix orange and yellow together. I'm going to take those two colors, orange and yellow, and I'm going to paint them up here. And again, I'm going to take my brush and dip it into the water, add water to the color that I've already created, and remember orange and yellow, I'll find that same spot down here where those two colors are mixed, where those two colors intersect. Now I clean my brush, and get some of the water off your brush and notice that that color is lighter than, than that color, but it is in essence the same color. That is how you're going to complete the color theory mixing chart.